Good morning, and thank you for joining us here on ABC 7 News. A look at your weather in about a minute, but first, your local headlines. The city of Claude is working on a project to improve its water infrastructure. The city currently uses six storage tanks and is looking to upgrade to larger tanks. The plan is to purchase and install a couple of 200,000 gallon tanks. They will also do away with the current 84,000 gallon tanks that are more than 50 years old. As commercial and residential water use increases, the city wants to make sure they have the capacity to handle the rising demand. We're not having any issues right now with the seven wells that we have online. What we're doing is replacing old tanks that we have that store the water, okay, to make sure that we don't run into a water quality issue or a problem down the road. While the city is working to secure funding for the project, new businesses such as Allsup's will help boost sales tax revenue since the city has little to no industrial tax dollars to rely on. Now for a check of your weather forecast with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Corbin Vogus. Good morning, Corbin. Good morning, Johnny. It's a very cold day out there, so make sure that you are dressed accordingly before you step out the door. We have warmed up into the teens in Amarillo, now into the teens, uh, or rather the double digits, I should say, in Dalhart and Vega. And we do still have some wind chills below zero degrees. So again, just make sure that you limit your time outside. Wind chill advisories will expire at about 11 a.m. this morning. And then we also have that winter weather advisory still in, in, fact, in effect for just two minutes there for Cottle County. But your traveling issues probably going by the wayside very quickly here over the next several hours. Dog walk forecast here in Amarillo. We stay sunny for the afternoon.